Now we're going to switch now to Sunday afternoon and it is the Munster Hurling Championship which gets underway and Limerick are taking on Clare and Lara look we all saw how good and how progressive Limerick were in 2018 you could call 2019 a bit of a blip but the Treaty County will be looking um, to get back to winning ways and taking on Clare on Sunday they're 1-6 to six to beat Clare who are 9-2 to two. how do you see this opening contest going in the Munster Hurling Championship? Well this, this game is going to be very very interesting um, both teams are coming to Torles and for the first time ever they won't have the crowd but Limerick this weekend I fancy so a word coming from Clare is that they're missing 4-5 to five starters that guys that would have been starting are not going to start for obvious and different reasons but I do like Limerick's style Something similar to Dublin. What Limerick have for the last number of months is the heart of Joel Aaron's semi-final against Kilkenny and Crow Park. They know themselves to a better team on the day. They're 12-13 wides on the day. So I think that this is going to be the year that Limerick are going to use all that heart. And I think that Clare are going to be on the receiving end of that heart this weekend. So, and Lara, the handicap betting, I mean, there's different options. There's It starts with five and it goes up to seven. But the handicap betting that's closest to the even money mark sees Limerick minus six at 10 to 11, Clare plus six at even money, and the handicap tie, a draw minus six at 10 to one. Are Limerick good enough to beat Clare by seven or more? Yeah, Limerick are good enough to be by Clare by seven or more. Going on the information that's here today is that Clare don't have a full strength team, Limerick are coming with the hurt, and Limerick like Turles field a little bit more than Clare. Just on the off chance then that Clare is that in the media down in Clare this week that there um, a lot of ex-players have said that Clare don't have a chance. So now that is great motivation for Brian Lowen in the dressing room come this weekend as regards when our own lads do art and back us to come out with a fight. But I don't think their fight is going to be strong enough against Limerick this weekend. So Limerick to cover the spread, Lar, And for those people who like the half-time, full-time betting, a Limerick-Limerick outcome at the moment is quite short at two to seven. But by the way you're talking, it looks as if this could be plain sailing. Yeah, I think so. And I'd like the the, the other bet that I that I'd like to value on the weekend is is Limerick half time and full time. I think there's value in it.